So guys, today I want to chat with you about a few new perfume launches, some of which have actually already been released. So definitely keep on watching to find out what those are. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now if you're here for the first time, as well as give this video a huge thumbs up. And once you're done with that, we can get started! Hello and welcome everyone to another episode What's New Out There, which I love to update you on once I see some exciting new perfume launches and not only we are going to talk about those, but I also want to chat with you about a few preferences that I expect from certain brands. But without any further ado, let's get started and I want to begin with the upcoming limited edition from a fresh shade that is called My Shiny Vanilla. As you know, I'm a big fan of this note and I remember a few years ago that actually all already released a similar fragrance. It was a limited edition for the holiday season and it was also a vanilla centered perfume. Very simple but beautiful and although I don't really know where it is right now, I remember I used to keep it right at the door at my old place. So whenever I was on the run, I just grabbed it and sprayed myself with this very cozy, beautiful vanilla fragrance. And I guess the new 2022 launch is gonna be very similar to that because when I check the notes, there is only sandalwood, vanilla flower, and vanilla. So in case you love vanilla, I have a lot of videos dedicated to this note that can be very different. So make sure to check out the description box down below and let me know in the comment section what's your favorite vanilla fragrance. But let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be very different from this and it's by the brand that I actually don't talk about much on my channel and it is called Just Box. Although when I was abroad, I've actually smelled their entire range and it was pretty lovely. There were a few nice fragrances. If you know some good ones, let me know what those are. But this new Visionary Eye sounds like a powdery aromatic perfume because there is wormwood, thyme and lavender. So those are aromatic herbs. And then we have iris, cinnamon, vanilla, those are powdery notes, musk, sandalwood, so I'm not quite sure how it smells and I don't think I will have a chance to sample it anytime soon, so in case you're already familiar with it, please let me know how it smells, but what I know about is that the nose behind it is actually the X in-house perfumer of Dior, Dominique Rupon. So he is a master of perfumery and probably this fragrance is gonna be great, but I am very much looking forward to smelling this next fragrance I wanna talk to you about because, first of all, I love Quinto Canto. This is project of Paul and Tiziana Terenzi and their newer fragrances that come in very colorful bottles, for example, like this one, PDF, very artistic perfume that smells like seaweed, sea salt, caramel, flowers, very artistic and different. They are all very interesting and bold and this new launch that is called Broom comes in a bright yellow bottle and when I look through the notes I see Ling Ling in there popping and I love the ingredients uh, actually resonate with the visual bottle design. Other than that there is Ambergris which is almost like a signature note for Quinta Counter range and Paola Terenzi is a fabulous perfumer so there is Jasmine in there, patchouli, oud, sandalwood, vanilla, Helotrope, so I expect it to be salty, powdery, floral, and have this opulent base of all trendy perfumes. So let me know if you would like me to review it in the future because I really want to get my nose and hands on it. And in case you're interested in Quinto Canter range, by the way, there you can find Sexual Weapon Mandragola, best sexy fragrance of all times. You can actually check out their perfumes on So Avant Garde web shop. The link is going to be below and I even have a discount for you. So feel free to use it in case you want to save some money. But you guys, this next fragrance, which is the new release from Juliet Has a Gun and the name is Ego Stratus, comes in a bottle that I think could look a bit differently. And that's kind of my problem with this brand lately. Actually, my first ever niche perfume was from this brand and I loved it and I like this brand. It's niche, it's mass appealing, but yet somehow they find a way to create not just, uh, you know, 
a boring repetitive fragrance like many others they always put something interesting in there and twist a little bit but lately they released bottles in these you know colorful um, style and a few colors look very similar for example the newer one Magnolia Bliss that I've smelled and loved so much it actually takes Douglas in Germany forever to add new releases from Juliet has a gun slowly but surely but anyway that bottle looks so similar to lipstick on and now this one looks a lot like the previous mask or something else they had like a pad perfume pair ink so anyway other than the bottle design i kind of like the notes but since this should be like a citrusy aquatic fragrance and that's not necessarily the style of perfumery that's my number one favorite and i'm crazy about it. i don't think that this is a safe blind buy for me whatsoever although if you love sort of like aquatic watery fruity fragrances you might actually enjoy it because other than citruses there is cologne in there so they really stand out this note uh, C notes and broxen, so it uh, will smell pretty modern, I guess, because of those molecules that are very, you know, heavy in all the modern perfumery. What makes this one exciting, I guess, could make some, you know, people uh, go, um, nuts but like at least something different in there is blueberry so do you love blueberry do you think blueberry is gonna be noticeable in this perfume it's gonna be different or is gonna be just an aquatic fragrance with a hint of fruitiness in there we shall see once again it takes Douglas forever to bring some new releases from Juliet has a gun so probably I won't be with an update on this one um, anytime soon but who knows we shall see what I know about is that Sephora already carries this new perfume by Kayali that is called love fast burning cherry and the bottle design and the name gives me strong of course lost cherry vibes by Tom Ford do you love this perfume it's kind of cool right so when you look through the notes breakdown there is cherry raspberry praline heliotrop palo santo which kind of excites me a little bit so there is no almond in there and a few notes are different but a few are very similar to lost cherry however i need to tell you that um, i actually enjoy kayali's fragrance line a lot i own only two perfumes this is fantastic i filmed like um um a challenge video with uh, this fragrance that i sprayed myself 100 times with so if you want to have some fragrance fun check it out and this perfume invite only amber my goodness is all that you need for you know late autumn beginning of winter because it's extremely cozy it's very voluptuous and i expect the new release to be I hope it's gonna be fruity, obviously it's gonna be fruity and powdery and I'm sure that the lost cherry vibe is gonna be there but because of Palo Santo I hope it's gonna be smoky and not as sugary as lost cherry but let me know what do you think about it and while you're doing so I'm moving on to the next perfume it's actually the flanker of the celebrity's perfume Billie Eilish that I have right here and in case you don't know about it check out my review this perfume is so cool it looks amazing and it smells kind of nice sort of like an extremely sweet um, candy or better to say you know like a thicker vanilla ice cream and I'm so looking forward to smell the new Billy Eilish uh, number two perfume that comes in like a black bottle or a dark bottle see this one is like golden and that one looks very very dark no maybe it's going to be silver I'm I can't really tell for sure just looking at the picture but the notes for example apple blossom apple blossom is so cool you know then black pepper amazing papyrus there is a note of poppy in there it's an imaginary note but still you know still uh palo santo once again palo santo so maybe palo santo is going to be the next big thing actually just recently i reviewed for you Probably the best woody fragrance I've smelled in the longest time and that's a beam by Maison Violet. Check out that review and the perfume itself in case you are into woody fragrances, in case you love Palo Santo and you want it to be noticeable yet not overpowering in your perfume as it can be sometimes. But anyway, let's get back to Billie Eilish number two. There is Palo Santo in there, definitely not you know, a typical note for a mass, um, like, um, 
mainstream celebrity fragrance, so Palo Santo, some other woody notes, musk, I am excited. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available where I live anytime soon, but let me know if you would like to see my take on it and actually compare it to the original one that I own. The perfumer is, uh, I guess, like an Asian perfumer, so that makes me excited even more. But yeah, let's move on to the next fragrance that I would love to smell, but uh, this brand Frau Tonis, although I believe it's German, is not available um, in all Douglas uh, stores. I smelled this line only when I was in Hamburg and I really enjoyed almost the entire collection, which surprised me a lot because they were rather simple, modern, very pleasing, um, almost a bit like, you know, those molecule fragrances, so something in that style. And this one is called Cocktail Hour. Actually, the name of it excites me the most about the fragrance, but there is Coumarin, there is Tonka Bean, uh, Bergamot, Patchouli and Moss, so maybe there's gonna be a hint of Fougia vibe, who knows, but anyway, I probably need to travel a bit in order to smell it, but fingers crossed that the newest release by Beredo that is called Eyes Closed is gonna be available in the shop in Frankfurt uh, because I love the salesman there, he's amazing, he is so cool, so in case you happen to be in Frankfurt, definitely go to Douglas and visit Beredo and Diptyque, but anyway, this perfume features notes that are so me, cardamom, love, Cinnamon, uh, well, cinnamon is not my favorite, but I can I can enjoy it if it's done correctly and Burrito messes up perfumes very uh, rarely. So other than that, there are carrot seeds, there is Oris butter, Oris butter. I mean, like, that's the most luxurious and expensive perfume material ever. So I hope it's gonna be powdery and for sure spicy because there is actually already uh, two spicy notes plus ginger. So maybe a hint of freshness, but I guess it's very textural fragrance because in the base there's papyrus and patchouli, already a second fragrance today with a note of papyrus, so who knows, maybe that's gonna be another trend, but yeah, I mean like cardamom, extremely textural, spice, carrot seeds, so you know, like um, beautifully rough and I don't know, they're all uh, very powdery and um, very textural, I guess, notes, you know, sometimes perfumes are about the texture, so this could be a blind buy for me, but I'll be waiting for it uh, in the shop. So I already need to save for a few of these new releases. Some of them I'm more excited about and others less, but this next perfume, Uncut Jam by Frederick Mull, is not necessarily the one that I would be now like, you know, praying to perfume gods that, um, I can buy it. Um, the notes are nice, also ginger in there, bergamot, musk, angelica, root, leather, vetiver, labdanum, incense, uh, some musk, some ambrosinite, which is a very expensive perfume ingredient, but yeah, that's just something you, in case you're a fan of this brand or you like the notes, I just want to let you know that um, it's out there. But now I want to move on to almost like a second part of this video in which I want to talk to you about my personal kind of like wishes and what I would like to see certain brands to release. So those brands are only two. One of them is Maison Margiela. So fantastic brand, very niche and modern, um, light fragrances that smell yet different and not too boring and just, you know, must market. I have one, two, three, four, five, six fragrances in my collection. Their range is pretty wide and um, Right, and they haven't released any perfume in a while, um, but I like that they don't put out new fragrances literally every single day, right? Are you annoyed when brands do that? But yeah, anyway, I would love them to release like a banger, okay? Because they had like autumn vibes and a few other fragrances, but I have a feeling ever since the bubble bath, they haven't released something that would make people talk and, you know, um, something hyped basically. And I really, really want them to do that. So that's one brand that I put high hopes on. Maybe they're working on something to release like a true bomb, but I also want Dior to finally release something with Corey John, cause he is a new in-house perfumer who replaced uh, the Dominique Rupon that I've already 
spoken about today and I really want them to release a new fragrance for, you know, like the general designer um, mainstream line, I mean like those Misty Ors and Joy. They need a new fantastic pillar release that, you know, would make people fall in love with uh, it just immediately and I think it will have a bit of Baccarat Rouge. What do you think? Will it be like a Baccarat Rouge type of fragrance or not? Because for example, Corrigion worked with Burberry and created a Burberry Ha fragrance which had definitely a few elements uh, similar uh, to his mega hit Baccarat Rouge 540. But who knows, I also would love him to work on the Privé collection, you know, that exclusive line of fragrances is so beautiful. So we shall see, but yeah, that's all for today. And if you enjoyed this video, if you like to be updated, then please give the video a huge thumbs up. They really matter, do that. That doesn't cost you anything, just push that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you will be actually updated anytime I post something new and also about newness in the perfumery. And that was all from me. Please follow me on my social media to stay in touch, shop with my discounts to save some money. So it's a win-win situation. And yeah, what else could you do? Oh, support me on Buy Me Coffee website with your donation. That would be cool too. But I guess it was all from me today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned and smell good because we will see each other in the next one really soon. Bye guys!